art snacks. It's been a minute since I have done an art snacks unboxing and random art supplies challenge. So let's do it. Ta-da! Let's just get everything out. Put our sassy box to the side. All right, let's quickly go through our art supplies. First, we have this toned paper, which is actually kind of funny because I was thinking about using these random art supplies to fill in the sketchbook spread. And as you guys know, I really like to add brown paper accents to my sketchbook spread. So I mean, how perfect is that? So let's see, we've got, uh, Micron pins. These are my go-to pins, so I know all about those. Oh, one, oh, five. And our big boy. We've also got this lighter gray tin. I don't think I have any gray microns. Is that a new product? Kind of excited about that. Next up, we've got this MLP squared zebra to be, oh my gosh, it is, it's a mechanical pencil, but it's got this, Whoa, it's it's like flat lead. Can you tell? Can you see? Interesting, I feel like the only time I've seen a pencil like this is one of those carpenter pencils. But this is so cool. You can get really thick fat strokes or thi whoa. Next up, a Prismacolor kneaded eraser. I love kneaded erasers. I mean, it erases. Okay, so I'm not thrilled about pastels, but y'all, Look at the, hold on. Y'all look at these absolutely gorgeous greens. I love a poop green. Oh my gosh, do I just, do I just? Oh, it's going to be messy. This is why I don't want to use these. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Is it wrong? Is it wrong that I just like, I just wanna bite into it? It looks like delicious. Do, do I do it? I, no, I, sh I shouldn't do it. I shouldn't do it. Do I do it? No, no. A little brown? <laughs> no, that felt like nails on a chalkboard. I'm still recovering. I have shivers through my body. I hate it. Okay, these colors are amazing. Um, You know, they're, oh my God. Okay, let's just see what happens. Aren't you supposed to be able to do this, I think? In case you're under arrest for making bad artwork. We need your fingerprints. I, I don't know what to say other than that, I'm scared. Um, I can't even touch anything. So like I mentioned earlier, we're going to be filling out a spread of my sketchbook using the art supplies from the box. I think though, I'm just going to start off by creating art on our toned paper and then maybe cutting out pieces and putting them in my sketchbook. And I'm just going to play around with this art supplies because obviously I am not used to pastels, but I wanna see maybe what I can do with it. All right, um, we'll move on to some shading. So I'll use this dookie color. Maybe they'll blend together well. I just really don't like the dry rubbing of the, <laughs> of the material. <laughs> it makes me feel like gross. I hate it. I just hate it so much. We're just gonna put some black in here. Oh, I hate, I hate how dry that feels. Dare I put just a little bit of black in with the green just to really push the dark? I'm doing it. I think it might look kind of cool. Now, do I wanna rub that in first? Oh. I kind of want to experiment with just, I don't know, a gradient, just like a gradient circle. And then we'll go to our green green. These are all amazing greens. I love all these greens. And I will just blend them together. Let's give them a little face. Yep, he's just a little, He's just a little glowing ball face. Maybe I can cut out this big glowing head and then do something on the sketchbook page. Ooh, what if I layered, let's see, layered some grass. So if I start it off and then maybe gradient that to a bit of a darker dookie green. <laughs> Not too much though. And then I'll move on to our closer elements with our light green. And again, we'll have this fade to a bit of a darker green. So we'll add this into the light. Ooh, you know what else I've heard of? Grinding your pastels and using them sort of like watercolors.
I will forever have a booger color stain on my desk. So I've got these messily shaved pastels. I don't know if this is a disaster or a success. I'm going to add a few drops of water to each of these. I mean, it looks like it's turned into a sort of thick, watery paint. Let's see what happens. <gasps> Honestly, I mean... The colors look so bright and vivid when they're in their wet and sort of like smooth, most condensed state, I guess. I just want to do one quick test of blending some of these colors just to see what that's like. Obviously not the smoothest gradient. I'm not used to using pastels. I think it'll be kind of interesting to go wet on the white paper since we've used the brown paper for sort of dry pastels. That being said, I'm going to start cutting out the previous pastel pieces we were coloring earlier and start pasting them into our sketchbook. Okay, so this is about what I want to do for our cutout pieces. I, I am so happy with these. I do want to use our pens and the watercolor sort of pastels to create additional details. So I definitely want to do a dark faded sky behind these mountains. I am going to put a piece of paper behind this one just to make sure that there is no incidents. I am terrified, but... Heck, here we go, here we go, let's go. Now obviously these are pastels, not watercolor, so I don't, I don't even know what I'm doing. <gasps> Ooh, I like this sort of like, it's drying super quickly. You can see the layers. This actually might look really cool to be sloppy with. And I think I'm, I think I'm down to mess around with that actually. Yeah, yeah, it looks horrible. So what? Got a problem with it? Call the art police on me, I dare you. You know what, I feel like putting in some splashes of green, is that crazy? It's a sketchbook, I just wanna kind of try crazy things like putting green in the sky. And just to add a little bit more crazy colors, let's add some light green stars in the sky, why not? We got a bit of a curling problem. Like it's pretty dramatic, but that's okay. We will figure it out. I'm going to plan where I want to glue everything down, glue it down, and then start adding some details. So everything is glued down. We had an incident. Some of the pastel came off on our little guy here. That's okay. It's just a sketchbook. I love the way the contrasting pages are. This one is super full, it's dark, it's colored, it's textured. This one's a little bit more simple. I think I'll probably draw, I don't know, a body for our character, just them interacting, maybe some patterns, just some details using our pens, because I haven't used these yet. And I think that's going to be the last thing I do, just add some details here and there, finish up this spread, and I guess that's gonna be that for this insanely complicated pastel sketchbook spread. I think this is going to be it for this sketchbook spread. It's a little different. It's simple. It's complicated. I love the contrast of these very plain characters with everything else going on. I think the favorite actually of everything is this flower and just the simple silly head on this gradiented textured circle. I just love the texture that using a different 
art supply that I wouldn't normally use brings to my sketchbook. Playing around, is it my favorite art supply? No. Was it fun to play around with? Yes, absolutely. Art Snacks for sending me this creative box. A huge thank you to you guys for watching this video and an even bigger thank you to my patrons for all of their support. If you want early access to these videos, secret sketches, live streams, and more, check out my Patreon in the link in the description. Thank you guys all so, so much. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.